So NBC 10's Tim Furlong spoke with the local vet about the illness, the symptoms, and what, if anything, we should now be doing to keep our dogs healthy. At this dog park in Westchester. Well, I'm concerned I have two young dogs. Obviously, I'm concerned. Barbara is certainly concerned about this mystery respiratory illness vets have seen in dogs out west. Some dogs yeah. have even died from it. So what is it? So we don't know is the short answer. Dr. Marissa Brunetti is the chief veterinary officer for IndyVets, a Philly-based but national veterinary staffing company that operates in dozens of states. No call with me. Her dog is doing fine right now, but I asked what symptoms we should all be looking for in our own pups. In dogs, right, you're going to hear like a, a raspy cough. Um, you may see some lethargy, so your dog may not want to play as hard. Sometimes you can see nasal discharge. You can see ocular discharge. It starts in the upper airway, but then it can go into the lower airway and cause pneumonia. And that that's when it gets very serious. Dr. Brunetti says while all this does sound concerning, unless your dog is showing actual symptoms, we're not at the point where you should stop taking your healthy dog to, you know, places like the dog park or to their groomer. We've seen some reporting in Oregon. We've seen some reporting in Colorado. Yeah, right now this is a bigger issue out west and we hope it doesn't come our way. But by all means, if you see any of the symptoms, don't hesitate to call your vet. Any difficulty in breathing with rapid respiratory rate, um, inability to catch their breath, right, or exercise intolerance like stopping on a walk, you should go to your vet right away. Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.